I just want to talk for a moment about this uh, four-stroke Husqvarna uh, string trimmer, weed eater, as we call them around here. I'd never really thought, uh, I don't think I'd ever seen one before I saw this one in the store, uh, but I like the idea of it because other than a chainsaw that I only use once or twice a year uh, when I have to, uh, you know, this was the only thing, or my other one was the only thing I, I, I mixed, I had to have two cycle uh, gas. Uh, the other one was a Poulin, Polon, however you say it, and it lasted almost 15 years. It was been a really good weed eater. Uh, but, so I got this. The difference is, it's more expensive, a little bit more expensive. I think this was like 300 and some dollars, over 350. I can't remember. You can definitely buy a weed eater cheaper than that. It's a little bit heavier, but I mean, it doesn't bother me. I mean, I've been using weed eaters since I was, you know, 40 years, probably at least. I mean, I was sure to use them before I was 10 years old because that's the way dad was. And the, I'm old enough that the first weed eaters that we had, uh, and I'll have to see if there's videos, YouTube videos on these, they were home light brand and the motor was down at the head. The, basically, that, that I guess that to them, that, back then that made the most sense, you know, just spin it right off the shaft of the motor and they were, you know, had the handle, two handles. If I remember right, the gas was part of the, the gas tank was actually the handle uh, and the head was at the bottom. So I've been weed eating a long time. Uh, the weight doesn't bother me. The biggest difference is that I can tell, and that would keep some of you guys from, from wanting one or having one, it just doesn't seem like it gets wound out like a good two-stroke. If you're in heavy stuff, which I'm not often, but I do have a hillside over here and I have been up there some, it just feels like it doesn't get wound out. Now maybe it's just the sound. I'm just not hearing the scream of a, of a two-stroke weed eater, you know, this wide open throttle, but it just doesn't feel like it turns the RPM that a two-stroke does but 95 percent of what i do is just trimming around the house the sidewalks the driveway after i get done mowing and for that it's perfect and not having to keep a separate can with pre-mixed gas in it i mean it's worth it so uh and it always starts the same way no matter if, i mean of course if it's hot it'll start one pool but otherwise it always starts the same way it's got a primer bulb you prime it it's got to choke, you choke it, you pull it one time, it won't start. Turn the choke off, pull it again, and it'll start for good on either the second or third pull. Sometimes it's third, sometimes it's not. But I mean, it always starts the exact same way. Uh, and so I've made some boo-boos on this video. So it's kind of halfway warm. But this uh, thing is cold, I just got it out of the garage. I mean, it is like cold, cold. I know you can't feel it, but trust me. Uh, and so turn it off does have a primer bulb I think it's like 10 times or something like that or six or seven I don't know I mean it's a few uh, so basically the process is you choke it let me turn it around because I'm not left-handed but basically you choke it and you pull it once it won't start but that's part of it put the choke down So that's it. Uh, for my use, it's perfect, and I love not having to mix gas. If you're always a lot into a lot of big weeds, you probably wouldn't like it. But uh, that's my take on it. I appreciate you for watching. Uh, please hit the like and subscribe button. It's free, and it helps spell out. Thanks very much.